well. So if you can all hear me. So I yeah. guess you can all hear me. Good, okay. right, great. Right. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Jota, for reminding us about this. Sorry there was nothing in it before. We really should have had it in there. Um, I mean, hopefully the day has shown you that the huge variety of um, inspiration, ideas and novelty we need to make formulation work. Um, I mean, I've, I've just been made very aware recently that um, the COVID-19 trial that's going on based on the Oxford vaccine is having to be a, a single blinded trial because basically the formulation isn't stable. So whereas the meningitis vaccine they're using for the control um, is room temperature, the COVID vaccine has to be held at minus 80. Obviously, if you're a nurse, you inject somebody at minus 80, it's not going to do them much good. So that has to be um, defrosted. So yeah. <laughs> pointing out formulation is fairly key, you know, very much in the present time. I'm sure there's lots of other examples. Um, just want to quickly run up, um, just say we've got some more meetings coming up. Um, Please, if you're not already on our mailing list, sign up to it. We don't send out hundreds of emails, but it's just a way of letting you know that meetings are happening. We obviously use other things, but that's good. Right, coming back to future formulation. So thank you very much, everybody. That was a fantastic run through of what's, um, I don't know, 200 person years worth of um, work effectively, which is what's been carried out in this, um, um, the future formulation of complex products. I mean, I, bear in mind, you know, I sort of got, around, I was aware of this when the, the grants were announced but you know really I got to learn about it in Durham in 2017 and um, you know some of the stuff I mean what Jess has just talked about with these really complex systems where you, you know, make the fluids as complicated as you can then you put them into a complex geometry and that's the case for all the product projects so you know fantastic to see this progress that's been made really great that um, we're going to have this um, a particular issue of the journal um, the chemical, <laughs> chemical engineering research and design special issue will be really good as a long-term marker. Hopefully these conferences as well, what's been left behind, and we'll have the recordings from here and the presentations also help. And obviously there's all the, the general publication, but you don't get the connections always with the specific papers. So thank you very much for that. Really just what I'd love to do is if you could have a think about what you'd like next, um, we would very happy to do a future formulation five you know, really, what's it going to be? This time, I mean, <laughs> it was easy for, in a way as organisers of a conference. You know, there were these five, seven projects. We just said all present. Um, you know, next time we can shape something. Do we want to go for a lower TRL level? Do we want to be a higher TRL level? Um, you know, certainly the response on online was quite good. Assuming people's response today is OK, then we could think of that again. Um, but, you know, how we do it technology wise. So any feedback? Uh, our email would be fantastic. I'll put a quick poll up, but it's really not asking very much. Uh, the technology and the version we're paying for is limited. Um, so the poll is basically yes, no, multiple choice questions. But really, thank you very much everybody for today. I mean, I think, um, you know, a great reflection of what's been done within this, um, you know, project um, call. And I think as you've all pointed out, there is plenty more to do to um, get to future formulation, the predictability, reliability that um, we need going forward. So, okay, right. Well, thank you very much. At that point, I will um, hand over to Phil, just um, leaving us on that one. I'll put up a quick slide in two minutes. So if I just hand over to Phil. Um, uh, yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. So, yeah, just, just to reiterate again, thank you very much for all the presenters and the question uh, we had on the chat uh, was really, really useful. Thank you to Simon, Helen and Jin for the um, chairing the sessions. Um, just to encourage you to keep asking questions. So, you, you, so this... Um, uh, chat window will be open until about half past four so we, we can keep doing there or contact the presenters directly or uh, go onto the YouTube or indeed Twitter we say we've got the Twitter hand, handles hashtag future formulations um, please say an answer this poll give us any feedback either through this poll or if you want to email any of the organizers directly we want to work find out what worked well what can be improved for next time as, as Helen said at the start uh, we're going to try to do this um, type of delivery, uh, certainly for the rest of this calendar year. Um, and that's it really for me. Thank you very much. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it and speak to you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, well, thank you very much, everybody. Um, yeah, please um, have a part of the the poll. Uh, if anybody has any more questions they want to ask in the chat, um, I won't shut the meeting down immediately. So. Um, if you want to ask anybody anything or um, do anything else, but otherwise we've had a quite a long day. So thank you very much, everybody. Um, thank you for uh, all you've done. So yeah, thank you.